it's kind of shitty and weird. I don't know if you can oh, see wait, it, wait, but it's like a wait. rack of my own earrings. Say who hmm? you are again. Wait, I'll do mine again. I forgot to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hi, my name is Japira. My pronouns are she, her, and I like glass. Hi, my name is Jeannie. My pronouns are also she, her, and I make earrings. Mm. <laughs> it's a little Barbie cat. I like it. A little Barbie. Uh, my name is Claire. My pronouns are also she, her, and I have a plant right next to me. That is interesting. <laughs> We're really interesting people. Yeah. We're pretty cool. <laughs>
Yeah. Um, so that is the third song off of my EP. It just started out as me and my guitar. And so what you heard in the acoustic set, like that really was that song. Well, okay, so I started writing that song in the summer. And, you know, like all songs, I didn't finish it <laughs> until um, October. Um, when I was like, that was the other thing. I was also like kind of writing these songs as I was producing them. Well, okay, so for, for some context, I, I came out as trans in like the end of August-ish. Um, and I had written the beginning of that song before then. So finishing that song was like really crazy because it all kind of like worked together because so many of my songs before I came out obviously were very sad and I was like, I hate myself. And I had no idea why. I had no idea why I hated myself. But once I came out, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so finishing that song, um, like the last verse was like really cool. And um, yeah, so I, I wrote that last verse in October. And I produced it a little bit differently. Um, and it was also super fun to do that because I added a bunch of weird stuff with my voice. And I use, I love using Apple headphones for like recording weird vocal sounds. So mm -hmm. like I have like whistles that I'm doing and then like weird breathing things that I turn into a beat. But yeah, that song means a lot to me. It's like I said, it was very, it's like really heavy, but I think it's really cool. And it's also like kind of weird sounding because like I said, I didn't, know how to play the guitar at the time really so i was just playing it and seeing what sounds i could make and then it happened and i was like mm, okay that sounds cool <laughs> well i've only been writing songs i want to say for like maybe two years maybe a year and a half no i get like two or three years um i <laughs> ever since i was a child my parents demanded with me both me and my brother and my sister um my parents demanded that we take piano lessons. And me being a stubborn little child, I was like, I hate this. I want to be a zoologist. <laughs> so I didn't pay attention to any of my piano lessons. <laughs> and now I'm just like, I was so dumb. Um, so my piano knowledge is pretty good. But also, if I paid attention in the, in the lessons, it would be way better. But now my songs are like where I want them to be. Like I'm fi I finally like found my sound like probably this year, maybe four months ago. Running Away, that one was also a song <laughs> that I started writing and didn't finish in the summer. Uh, I'll be, you can tell I have a habit here. Um, sorry, scratch that. It was a song, it was a song that I didn't finish, but I, I didn't write it in the summer. I wrote it on um, October 1st under the full moon. <laughs> I sat down, I was like, I'm gonna write something beautiful. <laughs> fully not expecting that I would. And then I sat there with my guitar and I like sang out like improv style, the whole first verse, pre-chorus and chorus of that song. And I was like, I am God. Um, <laughs> and so I, you know, I recorded that all and you know, didn't finish it um, until November when as part of a, a little project in my ensemble, we just were put into duos and me and this girl named Lena, we made, we finished the song um, and then I also like put it into Logic and produced it and put some, what I, was it like wind sound effects or something? <laughs> I love using sound effects. It's, I just like discovered it obviously like a few months ago, um, but like samples and like weird creaking door sounds to make a beat. Yeah, so, so she harmonized on that. She soloed, I soloed, whatever. Really, really good collaboration. But yeah, that song was just about like, I don't want to be in the United States right now. Oh, Why isn't healthcare free? Um, yeah, just a lot of anxiety about being a trans person in America. Yeah. Can we move away? 
to like doing your own producing kind of stuff oh that only started maybe in, in the beginning of September um because oh, wow. I yeah I wanted to get into logic and I wanted to get into like a, a digital audio workstation for so long um mm -hmm. all I had ever used was like garage band mm -hmm. and so this semester um oh yeah I'm third year music major at Cornish College of the Arts focus in composition and performance um, but yeah, so for this semester, I was supposed to do like a recital. Mm. Obviously, that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'll just make an EP. And originally, it was going to be like six songs. And then, like the chair of of the music department was like, you can't, you can't produce an like a six song EP in three months. And I was like, mm, are you sure? But then I like tried, like I first started going into Logic and trying to figure it out. And I was like, okay, maybe three is a good idea. Um, yeah, so that's just where I started. I was, I had a song that I had written in the summer. And I just wanted to put it into Logic and see what I could do. And I just figured out how to use it along the way. And then, you know, the next song was a lot easier and I got to do a lot more stuff with it. Oh, okay. Marry the Night by Lady Gaga. I mean, where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> it's like when I was like learning to play that song, I was like, first of all, the chords are really crazy and like kind of simple, but also complex. And it's like the songwriting behind it is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. But like... The, fa the way that like she puts her life into her music is so beautiful and 
so like inspiring and how she turns consistently turns her pain into something that's beautiful or something that she can look back on and be like yeah i love i love that like i don't have bad memories about that anymore i can turn it into art that's a lot of what my songs were mm -hmm. before i came out because i was just sad all the time not knowing why and so i was like i guess i'll write some songs about it also the music video for that song i don't know if you've seen it but like it's like a whole film it's so crazy her mind her mind <laughs> oh my god yeah she's also like a visionary I don't know. She's like everything to me. Her new album is like, uh, like that was mm, a big inspiration for my EP. Mm -hmm. um, it's like just straight up dance pop. And I'm like, work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's after that? I'm gonna marry the night. I won't give up on my life. I'm a warrior queen and passionately tonight I'm gonna marry the dark I'm gonna make love to the stars I'm a soldier to my own emptiness I am a winner I'm gonna marry the I'm gonna marry the night I'm gonna marry the night I'm gonna marry the night Yeah, I'm not gonna cry anymore I'm gonna marry the night Leave on the only streets to explore Mama. Uh -huh.
about me um i am from denver colorado um moved to seattle three years ago i've only been writing songs for a little bit but i love pop music so much and that was a big journey of finding my music um because i when i came to cornish I, I i met a bunch of like artists who or like students who had already been gigging around seattle for a while and they were either like punk musicians or like punk rock or straight up jazz. And so I was trying to fit in between those two. I also, when I first auditioned to Cornish, I came as a jazz vocalist, oh, cool. um, which was really fun. But then after the first year, I was like, okay, mm, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so the first year and a half was just me trying to be someone that I wasn't. <laughs> and that manifested in different ways um and it's you know i made some good songs some all right songs but um it was really like in the last year that i was just i stopped comparing myself to other musicians which was so hard to do but once i started doing that i loved myself more and loved my music more and i allowed myself to have this sound that i didn't really hear at my school and then along with that, like the past summer, it just kept manifesting. And then I was, and I came out and then it all, it all just makes sense. Like through finding my music, I was also like finding myself and they kind of met in the middle and then it all just happened. And honestly, that's what my latest EP was just about. Let me try and break it down. I don't know how to, I don't want to get too deep, but um, deep. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so two of them. Muddy Waters, obviously, definitely very much about my experience as a trans woman coming out and discovering myself and getting out of the pit of hatred that I didn't know I was in. And then another song off that EP, the second one, is called Dysphoria. And I think that's probably my favorite because it's like denouncing of like the, dys the dysphoria that I have, but also the dysphoria that... I have because of what I think a woman should be. And I've been like deconstructing that in my head and just trying to like live as myself without trying to be something because like living in, I uh, see, I don't know how to, <laughs> yeah, anyways, anyways, my EP was just about me coming out, me coming to terms with who I was, me loving who I was, me making music, that reflected that love for myself. Oh, bees. What a song. Yeah, that song I wrote, I think, winter, my first year at Cornish. But yeah, I said, like, I was, I was super sad, and it was winter time, and it was, it was gloomy all the time. And it was my first winter in Seattle also. So seasonal depression was like, yeah, hi. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, and I wrote that song, and I was also, like, super lonely. And I was like, I want to be in love, and I want the sun to be out. So, that, yeah, that song is completely fictional, but um, it's really cute. And I like bees. Yeah, that one, yeah, that one's not really deep at all. But sometimes I just write songs about things that aren't real, and it's fine. Like, I have a, I have a song that I was considering playing for this showcase. It's called Vampire Bride. And it is basically exactly the story of Twilight <laughs> um, from the third person perspective. And what a trip. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Vampire Bride was another one that I just plunked out on my keyboard and then I found a grand piano at Carey Hall and I was like, ah. um, <laughs> high camp, high drama. She's running, she's smashing through windows. She's eating other vampires, yeah. We love it. <laughs> Driving along I-90 West Something told me that I should turn left Over the broken creek and down to the side streets You were waiting for me Flowers, daisies, a gingham tablecloth Sweet bread Thank you. 
Can people listen to it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It is on uh, it is on my band camp, which is Jeannie Baby, J E A N I E B A B Y dot bandcamp dot com. And it is also on Spotify under Jeannie Baby, as well as um, iTunes and uh, everywhere else except Amazon. I have, my Instagram is at uh, I T S G E A N B A B E. It's Jean Babe. Slab chat. Oh, do we see it? <laughs> do we? Are we just slab okay, ourselves? Okay. Yeah, we'll all do it. Okay, we'll all do it. Ready? Yeah. Slab chat. Slab chat. <laughs> got it. You got it. Come on in the shack, we make some slaps. Come to the slap shack, we'll feature your music. Come on in the shack, we make some slaps. Get your slaps on the shap slap shouldn't it today. Slap shack. Yeah. Love that song. Yeah, okay. Ugh. Just to fresh your breath air. 